Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. This video is brought to you by RV Deep Clean. Over 40 ways to clean and downsize your Revit model all in one place. Get a free copy today by using the link in this video description. Have you ever wanted to clean up all the unused lifestyles from your Revit model? For example, I have here a model with lots of styles created by many different people over the years. So now it's hard to know which ones are in use, which ones are not, so I can delete them. Well, luckily we have Dynamo coming to the rescue. If I go to Dynamo here, this script I will show you today how to build it step by step. For now, let's see what it does. Let me run this now. And you can see in a few seconds, it has detected 39 unused lifestyles from the model and removed them for me in the same process. When I go back to the Revit file now, Back to the list of styles, you can see straight away it is now a much shorter list, so my team members can pick the right style super quickly without confusion now. And the good thing is, this script here will take you just a few minutes to build. Let me show you now how to do it exactly step by step. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. If you, however, want to focus on mastering Python scripting in Dynamo, then check out my full Python course in the video description. Okay, let's begin. Firstly, let's open Dynamo from here. And we can start now from my template. Now it's a usual thing I normally do in my tutorials. Let's make now a way for Dynamo to read a text file that contains a Python script. We can then use a the text from that file as a script input for this node here. And then it will just run the Python script that we have in the text file. Okay, so now we know that we need to define our procedure in this test.py file. Let me open it in the text editor right now. And now the next step, we will go into Visual Studio Code, my favorite Python script editor for Dynamo. If you are new to this kind of workflow, don't worry. Just go down to this video description and use a link there to see my basic video tutorial on how to script things in Dynamo this way. It will also show you how to set up and use Visual Studio Code because this is really the best editor you can have for writing Python script to use later in Dynamo. The video will also show you step by step how to create and understand and use this Python script template that I have opened already. So that should give you all the information you need to then come back to this video and follow me from here. Okay, let's start scripting here. The first step is for me to collect the element IDs of all the lifestyles currently in use in this model. To do so, let's make a list here first to hold those IDs. Let me call it ID integers in use. And it will just be an empty list for now. To begin populating it, we need to collect all the curve elements from the model. And that includes both detail and model curves. Let's call a new variable here, curves, and then use a new filtered element collector. On work set, element, this one. We will call it now on this document. And the elements class we want to collect will be curve element. Let's see now what this will get back to us. So I will put a curve variable here to the out list, save it, and run the script here. Here we go. Let's see what we have now. That's a lot of curves there, over 55,000 curves. And you can see now these are detailed lines, detailed arcs, even some motor lines in there too, even though we have mostly detailed curves. So now we know that script has worked to this point. Let's return to it now. And the next step is for us to loop through this list of curves. So let me do for CRV LM for curve element in curves. I want to now obtain the element ID of the curve style that this current curve element is using. Let's say style ID here, and this will be curve LM dot lifestyle dot ID dot integer value. Once I have it, I can say ID integers in use dot append and then style ID. We can now see this list here in the output just to know that it's working to this point. 
Here we go. Now we have lots of elements IDs, even though many of them are duplicates. For example, I want to have maybe a single value of 201 for all of these. Let's do it. Let me go back to here. We need to now obtain only the unique elements from this list. So I can say ID integers in use equals to list of set of ID integers in use. Save it there, run this now, and you can see now we have a much shorter list with only the unique element IDs. So far so good, let's continue here. For the next step, I will need to collect the element IDs of all the lifestyles in this model, not just the ones in use. To do so, there are several ways, but the quickest way is this. Let me go back to Dynamo here. And let's use another node here. It's going to be select model element. And now I can use it to select any detail or the model line in this project. For example, this one there. And now I can supply that element to Python for input number zero. When I go back to here now, I can say dummy curve will be unwrap element from input zero. Let's double check this. I will copy the dummy curve name there to here. And then we run this. Okay, so we have the same element here coming in and then coming out. That's the same ID number there as you can see. So we know it's identical. The reason for getting this dummy curve is this. It allows me to get the element IDs of all the curve styles or line styles that can be used for that curve element. So let's call a new variable here, maybe style IDs. It's going to be dummy curve dot get line styles IDs. Like this. Now let's see what we'll get from there. Save it, test it again here. And you can see just by using one single example curve from the model, I can get all the element IDs of the applicable lifestyle that I can assign to it. In other words, if I now select it again, I'm seeing here 70 element IDs because on this list here, I can give it any one of these 70 different styles. So using a dummy curve like this, it's just a quick way to get the list of IDs that I want. Of course, there's another way to do it. Maybe you want to collect all the curves in the model and just get the first element to then call this same command here to get the IDs of the styles. Or maybe if you don't have any model or detail curve in the model at all, you can do it another way, which is to use a temporary transaction. You open it, you create a curve, get the style IDs, and then you can draw back the transaction so you will modify the model in any way. But for now, to avoid making this tutorial too long, I will go for this simple practical approach. Okay, let's move on. Now that I have all the available lifestyles IDs and the IDs of the lifestyles in use, I can now start detecting which IDs I should delete. So let's call a list here first, IDs to delete. It will be a new list of element ID like this. And starting out, it will just be empty. Now we can have another for loop here. Let's say for SID for style ID in the list of style IDs from the dummy curve there. I can now get the style element itself by saying style equals dot dot get element and then pass in the style ID like this. If there's no element at that element ID, then style will be no or none. In that case, I will just continue to the next ID in my list. Otherwise, my next step will be to check the style name. This is because if I now go back to here and show you this, ideally, we don't want to touch the system style IDs that come with Revit. All of these that have the arrow brackets in their names, for example, arrow beyond and an arrow again, or arrow hidden arrow. These styles with the arrows in their names, we should keep them because they come from Revit. So if you delete them, funny things can happen to the model. So we should avoid it. Coming back to here, I can make sure that I won't touch them by checking the name of the style here. So let's say if style.name and then get the character at the beginning of the name with index zero like this. 
if that equals to the open arrow bracket then let's see if we can see the name now in the watch list so I will append style.name to watch coming down to here let's see what we have on the watch save it run this now now you can see we have the system names that we want to keep if I however go back to here and change this to does not equal save it run it here now I have the names of user created styles so all of these we can safely check for which one we want to delete back to Python now we can change this to equal and then continue our next check here will be to see if the element ID here is contained in this ID integers in use list let's do it like this I can say if SID dot integer value is in ID integers in use if that's the case then again I will continue to the next ID because I want to delete this ID here it's in use right now otherwise if this condition isn't met then I know SID can be removed I can now do IDs to delete dot add and then do SID let's see now IDs to delete in the output let's see how many we will remove in this instance run this now and we have 39 unused IDs out of 70 that's a lot so I'm glad we are doing this cleanup now back to Python let's actually delete the IDs we don't need anymore I can do it with a new transaction let's say TR is a new transaction in this document of the name of purge unused lifestyles I can then start it then call doc.delete pass in IDs to delete there and then finally commit the transaction like so with that done I can save the script actually before testing it let me do something else here I want to append the name of the lifestyles I will delete to watch this is so we can keep track of which one we have removed after we have run the script so let's append style.name to here and at the end I will say I want to see the names under watch save it now run this and now we have all these 39 styles already removed for us from the model let's double check now to confirm if I go back to here get this line check the style list firstly the style list is now much shorter and secondly if I try to find one of the names in here for example moisture barrier I cannot find it because it has been removed for me now same for things like STH line 4 hidden nowhere here to be found so now we know the script has worked now the last step is to make sure this script can run on its own without relying on this test of py text file so let's now do control a control c to copy back to here I can say Python script to use a proper Python script node open this now change to Python 2 for maximum compatibility and now replace all this text with the thing that I copied from my Visual Studio I can now save this and this time we can now transfer the input and output nodes to this new node I don't need these anymore so they can go and the rest let's do a nice alignment to finish the script I can now test it one more time by going back to the model undo the change of purge and use lifestyles back to here see the list now is long again but if I return to dynamo and run this the same thing happened 39 styles removed and now this list is super clean and tidy very nice anyway if you are looking for this kind of scripts with the objective of cleaning up your Revit model to make it light and fast again then doing this alone may not be enough instead I would recommend looking at one of the Revit plugins that does model cleanup in a more complete way for example you can try RV deep clean this one here it's a collection of over 40 commands to purge and clean up your Revit file 
for example, on the general tab here, I can do push unused, remove unused scope boxes, clean up unplaced rooms, areas, and spaces, along with the boundary lines if they are unused. Or I can do removing secondary design options, pinning grid lines and levels, or purging unused and empty parameters. If I go now to the next tab for view operations, I can do things like removing view templates or view filters that are unused, deleting views not on sheets, or removing sheets without any views on them. I can also remove any temporary views based on their names, or going further, I can try to delete often tags, often dimensions, unused lifestyles, live patterns, or few patterns. Coming down to the links group, I can do things like removing invisible cat links, pinning rivet links, or moving them to the desired work sets in my model. So essentially, it does what Dynamo can do and more, all in one single place. Let's keep it a go now. Okay, so that's now done. As you can see at the end of the process, it has given me a summary of everything that has been cleaned up from my model. Things like unused room separation lines, area boundaries, unused fuel pattern elements, unused line patterns, or several views not on sheets, they have been deleted for me in one click. Even better, you can try RV Deep Clean completely for free. Just go down to this video description and use the link there to get your free copy today. If you, however, just want to remove all the unused lifestyles from your model for now, then this script here will be all you need. Just go down to this video description and use a link there to download it directly. If you, however, want to focus on mastering Python scripting in Dynamo, then check out my full Python course in the video description. If you like this lesson and want more like this every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.